This weekend right here in Chattanooga, and I don't know if we've ever had one of these before or not. Maybe our next guest can tell us, but there is a tattoo convention on the way to the scenic city, and it's brought to you by Jennifer Edge and her team at Mainline Tattoos. Jennifer, good to see you again. Good morning. Had you back on the 10 o'clock show a few days ago, and I was just so infatuated. <laughs> I wanted to get you back here for our early morning audience. How long have you been involved in the tattoo industry? I've been tattooing uh, for 15 years, mm -hmm. and I've been doing my show for four. Uh, right. We had it two, we started in 2018, had 2018, 2019, got shut down with COVID. Mm -hmm. We wanted to wait till it was safe, so we came back March of 2020 so this is our fourth show and uh, it starts Friday. I, I said the obvious when Jennifer walked in. I said, Jennifer, you're wearing pants. <laughs> uh, because when you were here the other day, you were mm -hmm. wearing shorts and it, the amount of art that you have on you is tastefully done and extremely, yes. extremely well done, including Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, which Poe I on my left on your, by Mr. Lynn your, Buckner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, who does the tattoos for the tattoo artist? Uh, I get a lot of work from the people that I work with, but I'm mm -hmm. very lucky. We have people from all over the world and all over the United States who attend this convention. Right. And in 2018, I collected from an Australian and then I collected from someone from London. Mm -hmm. So I'm very lucky. The people that attend the show, I just write down and I'm kind of like, can I get you in? before the show yeah. they come a day early hang out at the shop and I get tattooed from them what is the most unusual item or thing that you have ever been asked to tattoo onto a customer so many stories there um, a lot of crazy things that I wouldn't do and a lot of things that I would do uh, most of the time it's like unique placement somebody actually is like can I get my ear tattooed yes you can mm -hmm. can I get my palm tattooed yes you can those tend to kind of fall out hand tattoos tend to right. fall out but Everybody has something and we're there to do it for so them. So if I wanted a tattoo of my, one of my ultimate heroes, Yosemite Sam or Bugs Bunny uh -huh. right here, you could take care of that. I would totally take care of that. I'll see you in the shop next week. How, how long does it take to normally do a tattoo of your caliber and your quality? It really varies. Everybody's different. Some folks come mm -hmm. in for like a name. Some people come in to get a whole sleeve. A lot of people who come into Mainline, they're coming in to get like, you know, larger work. Right. But we do everything from names to larger work. So it kind of depends on the size of the tattoo, where it's going and how much detail's in it. And the detail that is in your work is oh, simply yeah. amazing. Got was, some really amazing work yeah, here. Hold your, no, hold your arm just there right we go. like that. And All of my can... work on my sleeves is book themed. So there's Dumbledore. Right. We got Mary Poppins. Uh -huh. If you can grab that as well. Um, I love, I'm a reader, which is why we have Literary Ink. Right. Um, so it is a book themed tattoo convention at our heart. We are a tattoo convention, but mm -hmm. we call it book themed because we dress it out. We have a 30 foot set you can come and get photos on. All that good stuff. Um, without going into a tremendous amount of detail, I have a, a, a friend who um, decided late in life to begin the tattoo yeah. process. And some of those tattoos look like terrible. Okay. They look terrible. Why is that, do you think? Sometimes is the first tattoo a little, uh, they're, they're test driving the water? So a lot of it, as, you, as your skin ages, sometimes uh -huh. that can be a part of the issue. Right. I always tell everybody, do your research. Look for the tattoo artist that, that's the stylist that you're looking mm -hmm. for, and then right. ask them to see some of their healed out work. Right. It comes down to a couple different factors. Like if you have skin, you know, if, you've, if you have skin that's kind of like just not as good at taking ink, that could be kind of why a tattoo turns sure. out not as good. Or if you go to someone who has not been tattooing long and, and they don't really know how to make those adjustments, that could be something. But generally, search your artist. Research, research, research. Do you do initial consultations yes. at no charge? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, we start everything with the booking process at MainlineTattoo.com. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Which artist are you wanting to work with? Right. How big? And then we'll talk to them through Instagram or in the shop. Do your arm the other way. I wanted to get a close-up of this, if at all possible. No, no, no. Your other... Oh, that you know, one. Like that. Hermione. Tell, Hermione. Uh, again, the amount of art just on Jennifer Edge is exceptional, high quality, and yes. first class. And You'll find out more about it at the uh, convention this weekend. We have got, you were nice enough to bring us a handful yes. of tickets here. Uh, if you go to our social media page, go to our Facebook page, and all you got to do is put in tattoo. We'll give you, how many did you bring here? One, five two, three, day five. passes to Literary Inc. this weekend. Literary Inc. this weekend, which is where? Uh, the Chattanooga Convention Center. You can't beat it. Again, go to our Facebook page, enter the word tattoo. You'll walk away with five tickets. Jennifer, good to see you as always. You Hope as well. you will come back and join us here over the coming weeks. I'm down anytime.
So you really can do like Yosemite Sam. Right I'm, I'm ready for it. We'll All put them right. together. We are back with more of News 12 this morning coming up after this.